Hi. So let me explain you a bit about uh, definite or sorry deterministic finite automata. So deterministic finite automata. So also known as DFA. So before getting into deterministic finite automata, let us see what is finite automata. So a finite automation involves states and transitions among states in response to inputs that are useful for building several different kinds of software including the lexical analysis component of a compiler and systems of systems for verifying the corrections of circuits or protocols they also serve as a control unit in many spares and many uh, physical systems including winding machines elevators etc etc so and it was also used in designing many network protocols so so what is all this okay see it's nothing but you're you're telling that uh from state 1 if it consider you have some okay uh let me give you a real world example consider you are in new york okay consider you are in new york and you want to go to uh uh consider california okay so so the point is you decided that if you have dollar 50k in your bank account that day you are going to move from new york to california so it is something like you start at new york and then if you get 50k this is your input you will go to california so this is finite automata that's it and this is deterministic finite automata okay and it reaches a final state with a given input so that is uh that is actually defines a deterministic finite automata okay so so let's let me take an example so so if you are given to design uh, a def deterministic finite automata to accept strings containing one string strings containing 111 as substring so any string which contains 111 as substring should be accepted by our machine so so what are the different strings it's something something like 00111 is should be accepted 100 or 100111 should be accepted 111 should be accepted 1111 should be accepted so all these should be accepted so any string with a substring of 111 should be accepted that is that is the machine which we are going to design now so how are we going to write a, a transition diagram for this it's very simple so let us start let us consider a state q0 this is our initial state so this is the start state okay so now let us design for the basic one let's not worry about all these strings just design a a automata for the basic string that is 1 1 1 that's okay and then so with 1 it should go to a state q1 and with another one it should go to state q2 and with another one it should reach a final state that is q3 so the final states are represented with double circle okay now this automation accepts all uh, string just accepts 111 so if you get 10111 it is not going to accept now so what is the point so whenever there is a substring whenever there is a one so it should actually check whether there is another one next to it if it is not there no i think i'm not getting the substring 111 so go back that's the strategy okay so now okay in my first place if i get zero so be there 
Don't go anywhere. Okay, because I just only look for the strings which are having substrings 1, 1, 1. That's it. Now, consider the first string was 1 and second string is 0. So then what to do? If second string becomes 0, send back. That is 0. Okay, this is also 0. Okay, and now first string is 0, done. Second string is 0, done. Now you have the third string 0. Now, what do you have to do? To send it back, right? Okay, you're sending. So, so only when there are three one one three ones straight, then you have to be in the final state. So, it will accept that string. Okay, so first time you, you, could, you got zero, stay there. Second time you got zero, get him back to the initial state. Third time you got zero, get him back with any system. So it's very simple. Okay. So now you got one, 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 and then you got zero or one. Okay. It doesn't matter. If I have got one, one, one. I'm going to accept this finite automator. So just put a zero, one here. So whether it be zero or whether it be one, I'm going to accept it. So this is a way you have to think when you're designing a finite automator. Okay. That will determine the final automata. So that's the thumb rule. Okay. When a non accept when a non accepting string comes up, send it back. That's the thumb rule. Okay. That's it. So we have designed the finite automata. Let's test with some of the examples what we have written here. So let's go with this example. So I got one here, so I'll travel here, and I got zero, send it back. And I got zero again, so I'll be here itself. I've got zero again, I'll be here. And then again, I've got one, I'll travel. Again, I've got one, I'll travel. Again, I got one, I'll travel. So I accepted, I'm in the final state. Okay, so you can just try down any number of examples and just try. It accepts all the strings which are having substrings as one, one, one. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you'll like to write some more finite automata for yourself. Enjoy. Thanks a lot.